Hi, today I want to give you a very brief overview of the Choice Neighborhoods Planning Grant. This grant is currently out. It was put out by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. And this grant is due on June the 10th, 2019. And this grant is really good and a lot of applicants should actually apply for this grant. So the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development is making it possible for four applicant types to apply for this grant. If you are a public housing authority, or if you are a city or local government, if you are a tribe, or you are a nonprofit with your 501c3 certificate from the IRS, you can actually apply for this grant funding. You can apply for up to $350,000 for two years, or you can apply for up to $1.3 million for three and a half years. So, what makes you actually eligible for this grant? If you are one of those eligible applicant types, meaning you're a public housing authority, you are a local government, you are a tribe, or you are a 501c3 nonprofit, if you have or someone will give you authority to use their property, a HUD assisted property, you can request funding for this HUD assisted property. So this HUD assisted property must be in severe distress meaning it must have structural deficiencies or design deficiencies. So it must be a HUD assisted property. It must have structural deficiencies or design deficiencies. So you must um, either own this property or the owner will give you authority to use this property in your choice neighborhood application. So this property again must have design deficiencies or structural deficiencies. Once you have this property, you will identify a two mile radius around this property as the neighborhood that needs revitalization. So the Choice Neighborhood Grant gives you money so that you can plan a revitalization of this particular property or of the surrounding neighborhood. So if you go after the two-year grant, which you can request up to $350,000, if you go after this two-year grant, you will get money to create a transformation plan. So the transformation plan is an actual document that outlines your strategic plan to revitalize the housing, the HUD assisted housing development and the surrounding neighborhood. So you could possibly partner with a planning coordinator. This planning coordinator would assist you with the planning activity and create meetings, uh, meet up with stakeholders, community partners to plan activities that would result in the transformation of this particular HUD assisted development and also the surrounding neighborhood, which HUD wants it to be an approximate two miles around the HUD assisted property. So you would spend 300 or up to $350,000 on these activities that would result in you having a transformation plan after two years of operating the Choice Neighborhood Planning Grant. If you wanted to do the planning grant and you also wanted to do uh, some action activities, you can request up to $1.3 million. So in addition to the $350,000, HUD will give you an additional $950,000 for 
action activities. And action activities are uh, physical improvements that would result in um, improvement for either the property or the surrounding neighborhood. It can be beautification, um, uh, landscaping, it can be gap financing, it could be any fresh food initiatives like a farmer's market, um, and they will allow you to do those activities under your action activity portion of the grant. So there, you can go after two types of choice neighborhood planning grant. You have to choose one or the other, of course. So you can either do $350,000, and that will be for the planning process, up to $350,000. You can also uh, go for the $1.3 million, and that would include the two-year planning process and adding on an additional one and a half years for the action activities. And HUD does recommend that you partner with your city to do this. It is not mandatory for you to partner with your city, but they encourage you to partner with your city to do this. So if you have a HUD assisted property that does need rehabilitation, renovation, and the surrounding community does need revitalization, then you should go after this grant. What they're looking for for the community, they want to see high poverty, high crime, and um, need for educational improvements in this uh, community. So if you have a community such as this, you should go after this Choice Neighborhood Planning Grant. It for the simple fact that you create a revitalization plan for your area so that you can have a foundational understanding of what your area needs to be revitalized, you should definitely go after this grant program. So this grant program is the Choice Neighborhood Planning Grant and the grant due date is June the 10th. The eligible applicants are public housing authorities, tribes, local governments like cities and towns, and also nonprofits that are in possession of their 501c3 letter from the IRS. They must have a HUD assisted property or will identify a HUD assisted property that a private owner will give you authority to submit in your application and you will plan to renovate this property and also the surrounding neighborhood which must include a two mile uh, radius. So remember, you can either go after a two year grant for up to $350,000 or a three and a half year grant of up to $1.3 million. So definitely, definitely try to pursue this grant. This grant is a great grant for eligible applicants to plan to revitalize their communities.